All right. So next, we are going to talk about uh, develop app with Azure OpenAI services. In this lesson, we will talk like how you can integrate these all applications with your own application. But before talking about that thing, like uh, before talking about these all applications, like as we have discussed, we were talking about three main type. Like one is chat, one is completion, and one is empathy. So even I don't want to talk right now first about this one. First, we will do a little more practical thing. So guys, till now we were discussing about this platform, and in this platform we would see we are in chat, right? And in the chat we were discussing like we have two main sections here. One is to which we are calling setup, and second is something like where we are writing the uh, queries or your uh, questions. But in this one, once you are talking about the setup. Under this one, we have three different tabs. One is system message, one is parameter, and one is add your data. We will talk about this, uh, uh, this uh, tab in the last lesson, but right now we were emphasizing on system message. So what was system message as per you? These two are the very important word, role and the behavior. You just want to give a particular role to your model, like you need to behave just like this. As we discussed about marketing expert, we discussed about any farmer or maybe like any doctor. We want to behave just like an actor, and your model will understand the behavior, like how your model need to behave, right? So we discuss things. First, see as we are discussing, like what is a system message? Give the model instruction about how it should behave, right? And any context it should reference when generating a response. It matters a lot. And it will give you the more freedom to get more better or more accurate result that you will be expecting from these Gen AI based application, right? So you can just define these kind of uh, roles here. I was talking about uh, as an AI marketing uh, writing assistant, but instead of that, I say you need to you are say Nana Patekar. I hope most of you know about this actor. Who is very angry man kind of still uh, in the age of uh, 60 approx 62 yes he's of 62 now but still he's very very ang angry person and your role uh not role basically you can just define you need to behave with uh maybe media or maybe like whatever you want to say, just I, I'm not able to think more about this, but I, I just in uh, my, my, my mind, it came about Nana Patikar or maybe like any doctor, any farmer or any other popular personality and uh, you need to behave with uh, an old man in 1950 or maybe like an, just like an old man. He's uh, definitely an old man, but I'm just adding this thing. So I just want like he should behave uh, uh, specifically like uh, uh, angry person kind of thing. So I'm just applying this thing. I need to say apply changes. And uh, I want to ask Nana, where is studio? I'm just asking about any, any studio related to acting or you know some place where the actors are staying. Oh, my dear child, I'm not sure which studio you are referring to. He says, no, I'm never giving you the right answer, but uh, he will say, I'm not uh, referring to, could you please provide me more detail about it? So maybe like he's just saying like that, or maybe like uh, if I want to get more accurate result, what can I do as extra? Right now I have taken this example, but uh, yeah, Ronaldo is also good. But uh, to give more context, I can go into the ad section and I can go into the examples, right? So here I could add more example, like in the past, what has happened when you are asking about uh, uh, Nana, you had uh, you had a girl with Vidhu Vinod Chopra. Mm -hmm. He says he is not a good person. Something like I just want to take uh, some examples so that you can understand, like what can happen, like even. He said, I don't want to work with him. So means this is something he did on the recent interview I was watching. So means like that's why it is coming in my mind, but I want to be like, he should behave like that. So what can I do? I can just bring some more queries, more examples, 
like where we have this question and he gave this answer. So by that, I will be referring, I will be giving all this behavior to my model and model will get the context. What if answers will come whenever the user will ask any new questions. To talk about the same kind of thing, I'm not taking that thing because I need to think about that thing. But uh, I have some more examples that I added. All right. So the guys, I have just added these all things here in one of the doc. So you can see what we have done in the lab one. Or whenever you will get entered, you will get these labs uh, on the portal. Or uh, maybe like you are all aware about the labs now. So you need to just go and need to provision a resource by going into the portal. And you will create this resource, Azure OpenAI resource, right? You can create that. I think there is a no, uh, not a big issue. I have also explained twice about creating a resource. Once you are done, you will be redirected to the Azure AI Studio. And there, you need to go to the studio, need to go onto the deployment page, and you can create a new deployment. So right now for doing all the basic work, we can go with GPT 3.5 Turbo 16K. And guys, in case you are not able to find this 16K, right, you can go with Turbo, right? Means you will find definitely, but uh, maybe your subscription may not allow you. So you can go with Turbo. Then after, you can come to this uh, playground. And in the playground, we have also discussed many examples. We were asking, keep on asking some questions in the past about marketing strategy you can give. But right now, I want to come here because I want your model need to behave specifically with the example. Right now, I want to give in another example, like you are an AI marketing writing assistant once again, and your role is to create engaging and uh, persuasive marketing content. So I want to keep on changing once again so that we should have some perfect example. I'm going to do that. Next, I want to give some example as well. Like in case someone is asking about create and okay, so this is not an example. Just like right now, we have a prompt to directly. Like I want my model should behave just like a marketing expert, and then after I want to ask an uh, query. Like write an advertisement for a new scrubbing brush. Just take a look. Like how we are going to get these all things first. Apply changes. Okay, so guys, we, we were trying to do this task. Like right now, you can see create an advertisement for new brushing. So you can see introducing the ultimate cleaning tooth tool, uh, our new uh, scrubbing brush, uh, we got something. But what happened whenever you are doing, your model should know the answer as well. In the real time also, your model should, uh, or person know, need to know about uh, your name of the, uh, means like what kind of product you are talking about. So this time we are revising the prompt, like brushing named, blah, blah, which is made up of uh, carbon fiber and reduce cleaning times by half compared to ordinary scrubbing brush. I want to give more better uh, input to this. So let's try once again. So I did twice. So trying to get more better results this time, because in the previous case, we didn't know about the uh, name of the brush. We were not about, uh, we are not aware about the formation of it, but now we are clear. So this time it is saying introducing uh, the revolutionary uh, scrub dub 2000 and this is an ultimate uh, cleaning tool and blah blah i'm going to get a much better result in comparison to the previous one right so by that you can improve uh, the, these all uh, result but still it is not up to the mark so for doing these things we can add more example what can i do i need to go in add section examples means to get more better result, I can go in add section. And here we have examples we were already using. So I just want to add more examples here by giving whenever user is asking this query to which we are referring it with user. The answer should be assistant should give the answer like that. You can have multiple examples to train the model. Like model should know how, need, how uh, he should or he need to behave in some specific situations. So how to do that? I have some more example here, just like user. Write an advertisement for lightweight uh, ultra mop mop, which use uh, painted ab absorbent material to clean the floors. We have some uh, query. OK, no worries. We can add this query. And the corresponding answer, welcome to the future of cleaning. The ultra mop makes light work or 
of even the dirtiest of flow. So you can have, you know, some examples like where it should give the answer in this format, right? So please check it out. Like in the previous case, we were getting, you know, in the one format, but this time we are uh, giving the hint, okay, like you need to give the answer in some kind of hyphen on the new lines. So see how we can do that. I'm going to add this assistant. Again, we are going to apply the changes. Once it's done, we will ask some new query. Once again, we want to ask the query for getting the much better result. And please pay attention as we have add the apply changes, it is going to start a new session. It means it is not going to remember the previous uh, context. Just a little time. Yes, we got it. So in the new lines, we're going to get this result, but uh, you will find, and once you will compare, it will be better, right? So this is something like you can do. What is the purpose to talk about all these things? Number one, I was giving a basic one in that I probably will not be getting the much better result for that. First, we discussed like we can go in system message, we can define the role, we can define the behavior of the model. Even we have not mentioned much thing, but uh, in my normal projects, I used to write uh, 30 lines plus uh, instruction for giving you know system message. And uh, these examples are also too much. Means big uh, text I used to give so that uh, it should give me the better result. So I used to do that. So I uh, next thing I uh, still we were not getting the better result. So we have added some example. But to get more accurate result, we can give more examples. And your model will start behaving more. So these are the two things that I was discussing. Like you can use these things for getting the better result. Third thing is also here parameter. So parameter is also playing very important role for providing you the more better result, much better result in comparison to just by system assets. System assets can give you, you know, a way, a, a track, but to get more creative results, to uh, to define uh, some kind of control, you can go in parameters tab. Make sure guys, I am still on the playground. I discussed only about the system assets till now. Second thing, I'm going to talk about parameters. Right in the parameters tab, you can find at the top we can find past masses included. Any idea what is the meaning of it? For example, I'm just asking one query like who is Modi? So people used to talk a lot about him. Well, who is Modi? Just I'm asking a question. Yes, memory is also one point, like at the back, like what has happened. So I got uh, some result here, right? Then the Modi. Right, he is a polo Indian politician, polo a politician who is uh, uh, currently serving as PM of India. Something blah blah blah. We got some result. Like next question: Is he from Gujarat? Is the state in India? Uh, like from where he he come? So I'm just asking: Is he from Gujarat? But right now you can see, like uh, I am going to ask this query: Is he? How my model know he is referring to Modi only? Because he know about the context. Right now, this is only the second query I was asking and he's saying, yes, Narendra Modi is from Gujarat, India, right? I got this all. But main thing is that my model knows about the context or he knows okay, like what has happened or what was the result uh, like the user got in the previous, uh, previous queries. And that's why he's referring those all information from the past. But up to which limit it can hold? Up to 10. And why 10? Because we were mentioning this information as 10. Just a minute. Here we have. Here you can find why, why 10 messages? Because we are saying like past messages include. Okay, like whenever it is going to give the answer, it will be referring to the past messages. So please pay attention. Select the number of past messages to include in each API request, right? But right now they have added new thing. Okay, like when you are referring 10, it will be including five queries and five system responses. That means one time one query means two, uh, two numbers. So maybe like, maybe like this time, they, this is the new thing that they, they have included. It means that once it will be writing 10, it means it will be referring for five queries, right? Similarly, we have the max response. Max response is 800. Any idea about this one? 
max response 800 what is 800 here tokens is the right word not word so now you will be wondering like character is here word is here but token is here what is the meaning of it so once uh, once we are talking about these tokens token is different from character and the word so basically uh, your these models analyze each and every word as a token that means like they will be splitting into the token now just for understanding purpose you can understand whenever we talk about token it basically refers to the average four or five characters this is important for everyone i am repeating whenever you are talking about tokens token is normally referring to four or five characters in average for example i have this text with me right and i want to know what how many tokens are there in my text right you can choose uh, the corresponding model right now i'm just choosing gpt 3.5 or and 4 if it allow me so this is tokenizer from openai i want you please try that because this concept should be clear like token is different than character or word so basically like they used to choose they used to choose uh, like how many tokens will be there and they will give the response on the basis of token so once you will see at the bottom we have the 24 tokens are there and you can please check that like somewhere it is taking the language as a complete one of as a one uh, one token character found in there is a no any big word but normally what will happen it will be average four to five characters only in the token so this is by gpt 40 gpt 3.5 it is also same no worries but yes normally you will find uh, like you can find like a post of s is also a token open is one token ai is one token getting this thing so mm -hmm. this is something like on which all this system will work right and why i am talking about uh, these all stuff because because right now uh, here these all responses matter a lot we need to define like maybe uh, when i am going to use it may allow us 128k tokens per minute it means whenever you are hitting a request because once you will develop an application from your side 120k token can go at once but your uh, input is too much maybe like it is exceeding so what you will say you will allow your clients to be uh, you know some limit and limit can be done with the help of this max response is 800 so you can define how many uh, responses you would like to go with apart from that we have temperature in the previous all the result whatever the result i was showing i was also wondering why it is not showing me more big response or make, make big difference the reason was temperature because i made this temperature zero before the session and uh, this temperature is something which will give me the more creative answer it will try to include more creative elements in my result if i am going to increase it right now you are able to find like the value will be near to one it will be more creative while it will be zero or somewhere near to zero it will be less creative just to understand that you can see it controls randomness and lower the temperature means the model will produce more repetitive and deterministic response while increasing the temperature that means once it will go near to one who will result into more unexpected or creative response right and as i said like these two are almost same like try adjusting temperature or top p but not both because both are almost same only the internal mechanism is little different in top p you will be including probability right so it's better to go with temperature right now you are able to find one but in uh, earlier it was bet uh, between zero to two not in ui but in the practical ones we used to perform gpt4 so you, somewhere you can find the value from zero to two but i think like now they have changed in the uh, recent update like now it will be zero to one only so just make sure like you want to get more creative answer you want to get more better as a result you can increase this value right so with that stop sequence you would like to add uh, some of the words which should not be included yes so this is something like you can do here and we can get you know better result here uh, by doing the changes in system assays by doing the changes in uh, uh, parameters as well my purpose was to explain about system messages like how your model should behave, what should be the role, uh, what should be the, uh, how it should behave. You can do that. You can include many other examples here in this. So just to get the much better result. So once uh, you will try in on your own application, on your own data, you will get the much, much better understanding.
you you will do the labs during that one that time also you will get a much better understanding about these all things but i hope you got like once i was getting the result when i was asking the basic result from the ai system it was giving basic but once you give the more better result more examples it will keep on changing the things right i have done many other projects i have seen the differences here that's why i'm emphasizing lot on these four things maybe like in the labs you will not be getting more result but i i took more extra time here with that in the parameter where you can do the changes in temperature temperature is very important to get more creative answers right as a developer i need to decide do i need to provide the more example to my model so that it should give me the more accurate result so you will be deciding that right you can keep on adding many examples as i mentioned in my projects i have uh, provided more than 30 lines for uh, you know for the system message and if i talk about examples in my code if i will show you if i am not wrong it should be minimum 300 to 500 lines in which i have taken the examples only because my client requirement is uh, you know the more better result yesterday only uh, i was working on another project and uh, uh, for uh, speech transcription i was getting 99 point something accuracy there is a no direct tool to check that thing like how good accurate uh, is my result but i know like i have shown by the four different ways like my accuracy is approximately 99% i used uh, azure default model and then over the it i applied gpt4 to get a much better result to get a more grammatical strong uh, or uh, accurate result like it should be more uh, much better but still my more client is not happy he want 100% result and during that time i am trying to take more examples i am teaching or i am fine tuning my model like how i can make it much better so this is something it will be depending upon you how better result you want to get from this gpt the better uh, sweet you will put but the better uh, sugar you will put you will get the more sweetness so it is totally depending upon you thank you so much for staying with us till the end of the video now all you have to do is just click the link in the description below or if you are starting out just type k21academy.com/azureiml02 now enter your name enter your email id enter phone number and click on book your free seat now then you will be taken to a free page now you can add this session to your google calendar or apple calendar and i promise this is something that you don't want to miss so go ahead click on the link and step into the world where learning knows no boundaries till then keep enjoying i'll see you in the next video